Hi guys, I am really, really excited to share this with you. We are going to be doing a bunch of mini series on how to grow your Instagram following, how to kind of navigate Instagram and what it's all about. I'm really, really excited about this platform lately. Facebook has not been getting as much engagement for me and I've been getting a little bit bored of it and I'm about halfway through my friend limit. And so I started playing on Instagram more and I really, really liked it. For those of you who don't know, I started my Instagram back when I started coaching, which was March 2015, and I started at zero followers and now have just about 1,500, so um, definitely have grown it from the ground up, and I'm really excited to share the tips that I've used to grow my own Instagram, as well as the tips that I have learned from purchasing a couple of Instagram training programs. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to actually share my phone screen so that I can show you how to do this inside the app, which I think will be really, really helpful. Um, and today we are going to be covering for our first topic um, by request of one of our awesome coaches, how to find followers and get followers and grow your following on Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we will go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So hopefully you can see this here. We're going to go inside the Instagram app and go to the home page. Um, so I don't think you can really see my fingers pointing to the screen. Um, I'm going to use this mouse to show you. I just want to make sure that everybody is on the same page as to what everything is. So this little camera in the top here is for your Instagram stories. Instagram stories are a newer feature within this last year where you can put pictures or videos that disappear within 24 hours. It's very similar to Snapchat if you're familiar with that platform. Um, you can record videos up to 15 seconds at a time. You can put filters on things. You can write on your photos. This is a huge, huge aspect to gaining followers, um, getting engagement, getting people to sign up for your challenge groups, but we are going to cover this in a separate video. So these are all of the stories. This is my story here. These are stories of people that I'm following and it'll look different for you. Up in this right hand corner where the eight is, is um, the message box. So if I click into that, you can see all of the messages. If they have a blue dot on the right hand side, that means they haven't been looked at yet. Um, and they'll appear in bold. You can search for people. So I'll show you. I can search for my little sister. That's her at the top. Um, so that's how you work the message box. Going back to the main screen, this picture, the, this is called the feed of all of your friends' photos. This search, the little magnifying glass is the search box or the explorer page. Um, so it should look something like this and it populates with accounts that are similar to ones that you have been engaging with in the past. Let me see if I can, sorry, I'm messing with something really quick. Okay. So this is the Explorer page. Um, this plus sign is where you could add photos from your news feed. So here's a funny one of Lacey from her wig walk earlier. So I could post that if I wanted to. And then if I hit next, this is where you can do filters. You can custom filter things. Um, I always use a custom filter. I don't use any of Instagram's filters. And then you can post and add hashtags that way. We are going to be going over how to optimize your posts and add locations and geotags and all that stuff in another lesson. The hearts is where you can see people who have liked your post, people who have commented, new followers. You can also click on this following tab on the top left and see other people that you know, um, other friends that you have, what they're doing and who they're engaging with. So that's kind of useful. Um, I like to use this page to see if I have new followers so I can reach out to like this girl and say thanks for the follow. Um, or if people commented, 
like this girl, Jenna, I could go back and respond to her if I wanted to. So this is a good tab to look at. And then finally, on the bottom right-hand side, the little person takes you to your account. Um, and this is where we'll kind of dive into um, what your account should look like in order to make it appealing for people to follow. Um, so you have this let me point with my arrow. You have this spot right here. Mine is linked to my business account and we can explain that in another video if you have a business page, but you're able to create your name here. Um, you can just make it your normal name. You can add an emoji. You can make it all caps, something to kind of stand out. Um, and then right here is your bio. So I have changed my bio so many times. Um, I've had it from anything that's like wife, dog mom, pediatric nurse. Um, sorry, I keep getting text messages. Um, or this is my most recent bio, but this is prime real estate. There is a space limit. And so put something that really speaks to you and what people are going to see when they come to your account. Um, make it something that is catchy. Like for me, I mentioned that I have battled cancer and chronic illness, and I want to help other people be happy and healthy and free too. So I feel like that's intriguing. And then personally, I have a link right here to the Soul Sister community. So if you click on the link, um, this is through a, a site called Linktree, and they can either join an accountability group and click on that, and it takes them to a page where they can fill out a form, or they can do the same for coaching or they can connect with me on Facebook. If they click that link, it'll take them to my business Facebook page. So if you're a brand new coach, don't worry about making it fancy and putting forums right now. And we can definitely cover that in another video. Um, so coming down here to the pictures, most people, when they come to your account to see if they want to follow you are going to look at your top nine photos. Sorry, Lizzie's shaking in the background. Um, so you want to make sure that these, that every top nine photos that you have are visually pleasing. Um, they cover the main topics that you want to talk about. And that if you are somebody coming to your page, you would want to follow you too. And so a couple different ways that you can do this. You can make a list of the things that best describe your business and yourself. So for example, some of mine are um, clean eating and fitness. Those should probably be all of our top, um, all of our top nine and the business opportunities. So I mentioned that in this picture with a laptop here, um, my role as a nurse, which is this blue picture right here. I talk about my cancer story. I don't know if any of these are listed. I talk about, um, how the things that I like to do just as a normal person, not related to coaching, like yoga is something really recently. And you can see a couple of pictures of that and talk about motivation and personal development. This picture I believe speaks to that. So make sure that when people come to your top nine, that it's including all of these different components and it's not just fitness and it's not just food and it's not just quotes. It's a mix of everything, especially containing clean eating, fitness and the business opportunity within those, um, nine posts and then kind of filling it in with other things. Um, remember that you are running a business. So if you are a mom, for example, yes, include pictures of your kids, but maybe not every single picture, because then when someone comes to your page, they're going to just think it's a, an account with your family, if that makes sense. Um, so make sure to have that variety. <clears throat> Another thing I do to make my pictures more visually appealing is I use the same filter on every single photo. I use an app called Viso Cam. Oh my goodness, Lindsay, you should driving me crazy. I will show you what it looks like. Um, it's this VSCO circle app. And you can put in a photo, whatever photo you're going to upload to Instagram, and you can um, pick a filter and apply it to every single photo that you post to Instagram. And that really adds to cohesiveness. So let's say I wanted to do this FP2 and you can adjust it. Um, there's a bunch of editing tools that you can do just like in a normal um, editing account. Like you can change this around. 
and then come up with something that looks good on all of your photos and then save it and then save it to your phone. And then you can upload it to Instagram and do that with all of your photos. There's different apps besides this one that you could do, but doing that with all of your photos gives it more of a cohesive look so that when you're scrolling down the feed, everything is like the same um, kind of color tones and the same temperatures and visually appealing. So as you scroll down my feed, you can see some of those topics I told you guys about. There's clean eating, there's fitness, there's talking about my cancer story, there's just fun stuff, there's coaching opportunity, um, and it just kind of repeats itself. So it's a little bit more cohesive because you really want your account, the bio in the photos and the feel to be intriguing so that when I tell you all of these tips, people will want to follow you back, if that makes sense. All right. So now that we know that we need to make our page visually appealing and have some tips for that, I will show you a couple different ways that you can grow your network. Um, and just a reminder, I did grow this from zero, so it is possible to get followers. And I took a huge break from Instagram for a while, but within the past just couple of weeks, I've gotten over 100 followers. So these tips really do work if you apply them and if you are passionate about it and have fun with it. Okay, so first things first is hashtags. Um, disclaimer on hashtags, we're going to do a separate video on hashtags and how best to use them, and I think they're a little bit outdated. So this is not my favorite way to find people, but I want to show you just in case. So let's look at some of the hashtags that I'm using on my photos. For example, um, nurse life. Let's go to nurse life. So you can go to a hashtag that you feel like you relate to, and you can find people this way. So let me find, I'm looking for accounts that I relate to, that I think are funny, that I think I could be friends with this girl in real life that fit my niche market. We'll talk about niche market in another video. Um, so those are the kind of things I'm looking for. So I'm not just gonna go on any account that I don't relate to. For example, I'm not gonna go on this guy's account because I don't like to market to men. Um, but this girl looks really cute. She has some really cute dogs. I have a dog too. You can hear her being annoying in the background. So I liked her photo and I'm going to go to her account. Um, it looks like this girl is in RN. Health and fitness is my thing and she's an entrepreneur. So she probably is a beach body coach too. And she says she drinks superfood. So that's not going to be a good fit for me. Um, so I will keep looking. This girl looks really cute. Let's go to her account. Um, it looks like she speaks Spanish. It looks like she might be some sort of fitness instructor. So you can go through, like some of their photos and leave genuine comments. You don't want to leave stuff that you don't believe in. So um, it looks like she also talks about some chronic illness and I, really like meeting women that deal with chronic illness as well. I think her yoga pants are adorable. So I'll leave her a comment. Oops, it's hard to do this while recording. <laughs> leave her a comment, go to a couple other photos. This looks really yummy. And then if I really vibed with her, I could go ahead and follow her. She is already a fitness instructor, so I'm just gonna see if by giving her some love, she wants to follow me back. Usually if you give, a, if you give someone a bunch of love, and I'd recommend commenting on a couple photos, liking about five photos, they will go to your page and maybe follow you. Um, or I will follow them if I really, really vibe with them. But I don't know if she's a fitness instructor or not. So let's try to find someone else through this hashtag nurse life that I relate to. You can see like this girl's probably in fitness because that's a sweaty selfie. So that's not going to be someone I look at. This one with the yellow shirt is probably as well. That was my alarm. Don't really relate to her. So you can kind of see, you can just go through this hashtag and find people you relate to. This person's kind of talking in a different language. So 
Um, she's really cute, but I don't know that we would speak the same language. So um, like I said, hashtags are not my favorite way to find someone because as you can see, I'm running into a lot of other coaches. It's taking me a long time to follow, to find people that I want to follow. Um, and it just is not the most efficient way for me. So let's try another thing. Um, I really like to look at people through location. So let's go to the Kenmore hashtag and see if we can find anybody in the Kenmore hashtag because um, I feel like there's less coaches that do this, so it's less saturated. This is a store, so I don't want to follow them. Um, she looks pretty cute. There's not anything that's super jumping out at me that I relate to. It looks like she has kids, nothing wrong with that, but it's just not really my niche market. So we'll give her some love, but not gonna follow her back. Um, and then just keep looking through this hashtag. This again is a store. I can see some of my photos that are popping up on here because I do use this hashtag. Um, not really anything super jumping out at me. This is a bakery. Um, so another thing you can do is hit the magnifying glass, go into the search box and hit, let's try Redmond. And instead of looking at the hashtag, I can actually look under places and I'll go to Redmond, Washington and see what kind of people are posting on here. And I'm purposely not going to any of these top nine boxes because these are the most popular photos under this location or the hashtag. And I don't want to follow people with gigantic accounts because it's likely that they already have like some sort of deal um, with Instagram and they might not be looking for followers. And I'm looking for people who are more like me. So let's see if we can find someone. You guys can totally tell why this is not again, my favorite way of finding people. Um, this is a dog account, so I don't want to follow that. It just takes a lot longer to look up hashtags and locations. One thing I really like the locations for, though, is if you are trying to expand in the UK market, for example, you could go to London. Um, I would honestly wouldn't use London because a lot, it's probably a lot of tourists, but just for the sake of this example, you could pick somewhere in the UK. <clears throat> Or you could even look up a shop. Like if you found a really cute health food store in the United Kingdom, you could type it into the locations, go to that location, and then find people that you might want to follow. So this is a really smart way to do that. I could give this girl some love and see if she follows me back, comment on a couple of things, which I'm not going to do for the sake of time. But remember, like about five things, comment on a couple things, either follow them or just see if they follow you back. Um, you can think of things that really relate to you. Like for me, I can look up the hashtag thyroid cancer and I know that all of these people I'm really going to relate to. Um, and I can comment and like on their photos and send them love. I did, I've been doing that every night, so most of these I've probably already followed, but finding a hashtag that you really relate to. Um, another thing, pick, instead of picking like a um, city, you can pick a place. For example, one that I love to do is HB Bevco. I love that place. Um, and I know that these acai bowls are like $10, so if someone's spending $10 plus on an acai bowl, they could afford Shakeology. So I can go here and find friends that way. Um, remember when you go to these accounts, you're looking for people that you relate to. So for example, on this girl, it looks like she is going to graduate in 2020. So she's quite a bit younger than I am. And I want people in my niche market. So I'm looking for people my same age with similar interests that I'm going to want to be friends with and going to want to connect with. So I wouldn't want to go to this guy's account. I wouldn't want to have people that are too young or that I don't relate to. I'm really looking for people that I can relate to a lot. Um, so she's in college. A lot of people that go to HP Buffco are, are younger. So anyways, keep doing this. And then now I'm going to share my favorite way to find people to follow you. 
Um, so find someone on your feed that is really cute that you love following and click on their profile. So I'm just going to go to this girl's profile. She's in my age range. She's super cute. She has a profile picture of her in a sunflower field. And I've totally been to a sunflower field and it was the coolest thing. It looks like she's a nurse. Um, so I'm going to click on, you can either click on her followers list or you can click on a photo that you really like and go to the people that have liked it. And then from here, you're going to click on people's profiles and try to find other girls that you really relate to, similar to what you would do on Facebook. So this is so much more my jam because usually if someone's friends with someone you already like, they're similar. So this girl's in the hiking. This is gorgeous. So I'm going to leave genuine comments, not spammy stuff. She has such pretty pictures of hikes, and that probably means that she's athletic. There's a goat in this picture. Oops, did I not comment? And she just seems like a really cool person. So this is someone who, um, she likes her family, that's important. She likes pie, that's important. So I'm actually gonna follow her because I relate to her a lot, okay? And um, let's look at someone else. So this girl's profile is private. So if I really relate to what it says in the bio, I can follow them, otherwise I don't mess with it. She is in nursing though, so I'm gonna follow her. Maybe she'll accept me, maybe she won't. Let's go to Maddie, yoga, wellness, whole food living. That totally sounds like my jam. She has pink flowers. She already drinks smoothies with ashwagandha, which actually is something in Shakeology, so that's so cool. She probably would absolutely love Shakeology, and it would probably be cheaper. She loves yoga. Um, getting outside and that looks like a love your melon hat, which I totally love and support. So this girl is totally my jam. She likes poetry and journalism. I love that too. Um, she, she loves Gabrielle Bernstein and I am obsessed. So this girl is totally my jam. And this is why I love Instagram so much and why it's so much more fun to me than Facebook. Look, she does clean eating hauls. Um, she got all of this for $20. That's crazy. <clears throat> so I'm going to follow her because this girl is totally my jam. I can even watch her Insta story if I wasn't sure and I wanted to see. Um, I love Gabrielle B's cards. Um, so if I find someone like this who's like, this is my dream girl, like dream team, I would love to be friends with you. We would totally get along. I'll just go right into her followers. Um, because those people are probably even more like me. So this person is really into healthy living, but it's all food pictures. I want someone that's a little bit more well-rounded. Um, I'm skipping over some of these like travel blogger because she probably has a huge account, 7,000 followers. She probably isn't looking for friends. Like this person has 10,000 followers. Um, do do do. Riley, that looks like it's all food pictures. Runner and hit enthusiast, which is great, but all food pictures again. Spanish speaking. So anyways, um, continue doing this and can kind of continue going down the rabbit hole. And again, leaving like a couple comments, a few likes, if you really relate to them, follow them. Otherwise, just give them love, see what happens. And now, after you do that, you need to figure out a way to track everything. Let's go back to my homepage. So Instagram uses a bunch of algorithms like Facebook does. And based on how much engagement you get, how many people you're following, how many people are following you, that will determine where your posts show up in people's newsfeed and where your Instagram stories show up. And so Instagram does not like if you are following a bunch more people than are following you. So if you're following 
3,000 people and only have 1,000 followers, they're going to think that you're just spammy and adding a bunch of random people and they are not going to like that. So you need to keep track of who you're adding and make sure that you're not adding all these girls and they're not adding you back for whatever reason. So I use an app called INS Followers. It's this little face right here. And it shows you who is not following you back. It only lets you unfollow 12 people at a time. But let me like go down here. So periodically I will go into this and I will unfollow people that are not following me. And I'll do 12 at a time. And eventually this is gonna get to the point where I can really easily see like um, who I tried to follow and didn't follow me back. And I can choose a couple things. I can either, let's say Cassie Wood is not following me back, but I think she's just so cute and I really wanted her to follow me. Um, that's not the case, but we're just using this as an example. I could go to her account and give her more love and comment on more things and try to see if she'll follow me back. Otherwise I will unfollow. Um, like this girl, let's say that I just totally thought she was so cute. I could go in there and like comment and like stuff and try to get her to follow me, but otherwise unfollow. I unfollow any men. I unfollow business accounts that I followed when I very first started my Instagram and didn't really know what I was doing. Um, so I just do that until I get to the 12. And then if you go back to my screen, you can see that my, um, my following right here went down by 12 because I just unfollowed 12 people. So um, maybe do that like every week at least, depending on how many people you're adding. I would suggest for leaving the comments and liking stuff, maybe do like 10 to 20 every night because not all of those people are gonna follow you back, maybe like five. And five is a good number to add every day. So kind of figure out what your number is gonna be. Don't spend too much time doing this, you guys. Like do it right before you go to bed or do it when you're like, watching TV and there's commercials on or 10 or 15 minute breaks. You don't want to be sitting here for hours adding people. It's going to be slow. It's going to be a few people every day if you keep this up. But eventually, once your account gets more popular, once you get better at the content that you're putting up on your Instagram feed and the geotags like we'll cover in another video and the Instagram stories, um, your following will start to grow a lot more. Um, so those are my biggest tips. I feel like I was gonna say something else, but I can't remember. So just to recap, let me stop the share. Okay, recap. So make your page visually appealing. Make sure that your name is good and engaging and that your bio is engaging. Make sure that your pictures are speaking to like 10 different topics that really make you you and make sure that it's covering fitness and clean eating and the coaching opportunity all in those top nine. Make sure that your pictures are different angles um, and look really, really visually interesting. Make sure you don't have to use the same filter, but make sure that the lighting is about the same. Maybe make sure that the colors kind of match each other so that it it's something that you would want to follow. Like if you went to your account and, and it wasn't your account, would you follow it? And make sure that what you're posting isn't just like throwing up a random thing just to post. It's thoughtful, the maybe engaging. We'll talk about that later, um, like what to say in the captions and hashtagging. Um, but make sure your page is visually appealing. You can search for people by hashtags or by locations, or my favorite is going to friends of friends of friends and adding people that way. Comment on a couple of their things, like about five of their things, and either add them or just see if they follow you back. And then track it, because you don't want to end up with way too many followers to following ratio. And you want to make sure that you don't forget about these new girls that you're really excited about. So figure out some way to track it, whether that's writing it down on a piece of paper, who you've added and going back and seeing if they followed you like a week later, or using an app like the INS followers that I showed you. Um, I hope this was helpful, you guys, in showing you how to gain a following. Like I said, we have so much stuff that we're going to cover in our upcoming Instagram stories, and I'm really, really excited to share that with you. This is gonna be one of the longer videos 
just so you know, I'm going to try to aim to make the rest of them only about 10 minutes or less. So I hope this was helpful and I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye.